So our first pickup we're gonna talk about is our underhand scoop pickup. Now, when we say underhand scoop, you guys automatically think I'm going to the rim to score. No, there's different ways you can kind of pick up the ball, right? So if I'm driving, maybe I can't, my hand is jammed on my defender here and I have one hand, so I have to scoop the ball up and then now it's going, it goes from an underhand scoop to a side extension. All right, so it goes here and I scoop the ball up and I get it up and around. All right, so this is a more advanced pickup for a lot of players, but like I said, it's always necessary. You don't know what situation you're gonna be in. All right, so there's two things we can work on here. You can work on just a scoop. You're gonna take one dribble, scoop. You can scoop off your inside step or your outside step. I just did my outside step, now I'm gonna do my inside step. So our first pickup we're gonna talk about is our underhand scoop pickup. Now, when we say underhand scoop, you guys automatically think I'm going to the rim to score. No, there's different ways you can kind of pick up the ball, right? So if I'm driving, maybe I can't, my hand is jammed on my defender here, and I have one hand, so I have to scoop the ball up, and then now it's going, it goes from an underhand scoop to a side extension, all right? So it goes here, and I scoop the ball up, and I get it up and around, all right? So this is a more advanced pickup for a lot of players, but like I said, it's always necessary. You don't know what situation you're gonna be in, all right? So there's two things we can work on here. You can work on just a scoop. You're gonna take one dribble, Scoop. You can scoop off your inside step or your outside step. I just did my outside step, now I'm gonna do my inside step. All right, and I'm gonna, now I'm gonna show you the one hand scoop and bring it out to the side and finish it. All right, that second, that last one we did is the toughest one. But those are three simple drills you can work on just to work on that one hand pickup. All right, the next one is the veer step. Now this is a move to kind of bump the defender or even take away space from your secondary defender to either draw a foul or get a better angle because of the contact. All right, so what's gonna happen is it's kind of like a, we call, I would say a reverse Euro step. So you wanna go out, then in, bump that primary defender or take this, this, the space from the secondary defender and then finish out here. All right, so what we're gonna work on here is pretending there's contact. You wanna step out, then in, and go finish. So I'm gonna demonstrate two times and I'm gonna make one other point. Two. Okay. Now, the one point I wanna make before I finish do a second rep is when you step, we don't want to step out then in because that takes you away from the hoop. So you just want to take a regular step forward, get into the defender, and then get up and out to finish. All right, last rep here. All right, this is a very important finish to have, especially for our younger guards. If you do not Understand, we will have a video clip attached to this so you can see it and what it looks like in a game situation. 